The biggest tragedy in life is not death, but rather it's life that fails to fulfill its purpose. Welcome to the un untold story of the Kilifi women representative Honorable Gertrude Mbeyo Mwanyanje, and this is what I call the life of the furious lioness. Nataka kuzidi kulani kile kitendo cha shakahola, wale waliniona kwa vambo vya habari, waliona vile nilifanya, tunazidi kulani. Na tunataka hasa sahi mefika. Mili bado inafukuliwa kule. Ile commission of inquiry iliweza kuundwa kabla ya hii kazi haijaisha. Hai Mimi mbeyu ni naikana. Siitaki. Nasema kama kiongozi wa kilifi. Ndani ya commission hii ya inquiry hakuna kiongozi hata moja ndani ya ile jopo ni wa kilifi. Hatuwezi kuleta watu kutoka bara, kutoka kule kwengine. Waju achunguze kisa cha kilifi hakuna mtu wa kilifi hata moja. Mimi ni wakwanza kupinga lile jopo, raisu usikie pale udipo. Jopo hili lazima liwe na watu wakilifi. Hawa ule wachaguo kwa wali jopo. Watapele kwa nanani shakahola. Kama mimi nienda shakahola ni kakatazo kuingia dani ya msitu. Nani mwingine atayenda kuongoza pale wafanya inquiry. Hatutaki inquiry sahi. Tuataka kujua sababu gani. Ili sindikiza kuwawa kwa wale watu. Kuwekwa pale ndani. Kufa na kuzikwa bila serikali kupeana tarifa kwa wananchi. Ye, ye, wewe mwenye kibinafsi kiongozi unaona kuna mambo yanafichwa ndio maana nyimbo makatazwa kuingia na hiyo e, commission iliyoundwa hamupo Mimi na Felix serikali kuna kitu wanaficha walinikataza mimi na baba Raila Molo Dinga kuingia ndani ya Shakahola La pili wa maonda jopo halina pasta wakilifi halina mwalimu wakilifi halina mwananchi wakilifi jopo hili linaenda kufanya kazi vipi ripoti gani watatoa kuhusu Shakahola kama hakuna mtu wa Shakahola wala wakilifi ndani ya jopo lile wasituchezee wasitukalie tuko macho mimi hasa mbeyu wakilifi kama kiongozi Kuna kitu wanatuficha na mimi nitasema na niseme. 5th April 1970 in the vast land of Kilif, 60 kilometers north of Mombasa, the young lady was born. She carried the joy of everyone in her heart that each and every step in her life became a tale to tell. Hakuna kuanikisha vikuni vya mashoga dani ya Kilifi. Hakuna kuanikisha vikuni vya wasadagi dani ya Kilifi. Wazazi mupo, nimesema hakuna ushoga, hakuna usagaji, dani ya kilifi. Na tulani kitendo hichi katika jina. Wazazi wenzangu, mimi ni mama kwa mtoto mblana na mtoto mchana. Wangu wakenda saga na yule mwingine awe shoga ntenda harusi ipi. Nitenda harusini wapi? Na wala sita itua nyanyi. Wamenambia hawa. Kuna kuitua nyanyi hapo? Yele mashirika ambaye naunga mkono ushoga na usagaji. Yele niwe katika jina la yesu. Tumesema kilifi. No gayism. No lesbianism. No homosexuality. Tuko pamoja. Lakini wazazi chungeni watoto wenu. Wazazi chungeni watoto wenu. Na hasa wa boarding schools. Nitaje zile shule zina hizo tabia. Dani ya kilifi nitaje ni sitaje. Eh? Ni aibu si aibu. Kuna shule ndani ya kilifi. Wasichana wa boarding. Wanafanya hayo. Wafnana waboni wanafanya hayo na sisemi hayo wanafanya ushoga wanasagana mimi ni mzazi na hakuna mtoto mdogo hapa ni aibu si aibu mzazi chunguza mtoto wako afige hodi gani Gertrude Mbeyu Mwanyanga graduated the second class upper honors degree from Mount Kenya University in Nairobi. She also graduated with a diploma from the KCA University and being a fighter for the girls right she received the girl child award <laughs> I'll give sanitary towels to the girls and a netball to the girls. Is that okay? Yeah. For the girls, I don't want you to miss school because of a period. Mama Mbe, you cares for the girl child and the boy child. The boss, oh, oh, oh. There's a lot of nasty issues in the Tahiti program. I don't like it as a parent, as a teacher, as a mother, as a leader. Nataka uwele upewe hii clip ya last week. P.S. Uyone katika hile program. 
really messing up our students who are watching this program. They imitate what Tahiti Hai are showing in the TV. And they will not go very far as they learn what that program is showing. I hate it with my passion and I said I'll take a motion to the National Assembly that program to be cut off. Not parents, not students to watch this program. Bali ni mengi ambayo amefanyika bungeni msio ya jua. Na basi leo katika kipindi hiki nawaletea historia hii ya Mama Getu Mbeyu akiwa katika bunge. This is what I call the journey of Mama Getu Mbeyu inside the parliament since the fire that she uses in that parliament is beyond any other. Hoja hii nikiwa mwakilishi wa kike kule Kilifi Bi speaker hii ni hoja ambayo inagusa wa Kenya wote. Bi speaker Pastor Makenzi amekuwa kilifi karibu miaka kumi saa hizi na mimi nataka kumshangaa hasa mheshimiwa Owen. Pastor Makenzi alikuja kilifi mheshimiwa Owen akiwa county secretary wa Kilifi County Government. Na hii story alijua. Akapigwa vita na mheshimiwa Aisha Pastor Makenzi yeye akiwako kama kiongozi leo analeta hii hoja tuzungumze hapa watu wetu wamekufa watu wamezikwa kwa makaburi pale juju wanafukuliwa mheshimiwa Owen hajachukua hatua ya kwenda shakahola kuona nini kunaendelea kule nasikia aibu sana akileta hoja ndani ya bunge watu wanafukuliwa kule hajakanyaga kule kama kiongozi wa serikali iliyo mamlakani mheshimiwa bi speaker bi speaker member for honorable member for uh, kilifi debate the motion mheshimiwa speaker nataka kukwambia wazi upetelevu wa kazi ya serikali iliyo mamlakani imesababisha vifo kule Shakahola wapi serikali ilikuwa wapi makundi ya ujasusi yalikuwa wapi watu wakae bila chakula wasinwe maji mzee wa kijiji yuko mzee wa nyumba kumi yuko sabu chifu yuko chifu yuko viongozi NSAS wapi hawa DCI wa Malindi na Magarini watu wafe wazikwe bila wao kupeana taarifa kwa serikali serikali imelegea katika utendaji kazi bi speaker na lazima nizungumzie watu wa kwetu kwa nini haikujulikana watu wana kaa pale shakahola hakuna taarifa paka watu wamekufa wamezikwa leo mnatuletea hoja mkiwa upande wa serikali ati ho tuangalie haya serikali imekuwa wapi vyombo vya usalama vya serikali viko wapi watu wamekufa wamezikwa hatuwezi kukubaliana na hii hoja upatalevu wa kazi bi speaker polisi DCI NSIS Wanaangalia maandamano ya Mheshimiwa Raila wanaacha watu wanakufa shakahola. Mnashika wabunge wa upinzani azimio watu wanakufa shakahola hamjui. Mnaenda kununua tiagas ya azimio watu wanakufa serikali haijui watu wakilifi wanakufa. Serikali ichukue hatua iweze kuona ni vipi Pasta Mwakenzi bi speaker wewe ni, ni wakili mwana sheria mkubwa Pasta Mwakenzi alishikwa jaji wa Malindi anamtoa kwa bondi ya elfu kumi watoto wawili wamekufa oh yeye amesema Serikali imepoteza mwelekeo watu wetu wamekufa kule kilifi maiti zimefukuliwa makaburi ya nchi mbili bi speaker wataka kunambia chifu alikuwa hajui DCC alikuwa hajui kula magarini na malindi lazima serikali ichukue hatua it take responsibility watu wetu wamekufa watu wanakufaja serikali haijui tunakuja kuambiwa hapa na leader of Deputy leader wa wa yeye ndo macho kule kilifi wa rais hajaenda kule kuona hizi maiti analeta motion hapa ndani ya bunge 
Aibu sana kwa serikali ya iliyo mamlakani na tunataka watu wetu wachukue hatua. Asante B speaker. Honorable members. Order honorable members. On 12th of March 2020, Mama Getrud Mbeyu urged the provision of money for the elderly in the society. Wanaishi tu kwa vibanda. Kwa hivyo ni wakati mzuri sasa katika bunge hili na katika uangalizi wa wazee wetu iwezekane kuwa wanaweza kupata makao bora na katika kila mwezi ile pesa ambayo ilikuwa imeweka serikali ya pesa elfu mbili mheshimiwa speaker elfu mbili kwa wakati huu hainunui hata bandari ya unga na kama hainunui bandari ya unga hakuna fedha za mboga kwa hivyo pesa hizi kama zitatolewa mwaka wa 2007 ni kitambo sana. On 25th of April 2018, Mama Getul Mbeyu supported a motion for distribution of storage tanks to the residents of Kilifi. Thank you Mr. Speaker. I rise to support a motion brought in by Honorable George Kariuki. Mr. Speaker, as we say in Kiswahili, maji ni uhai. I think this is a very important motion and I'll speak for the collection and storage management of water in the whole country and more in the Kilifi County. Mr. Kilifi, Mr. Speaker, right away, the Magarini constituency in Kilifi County is flooded. But in the next four months, we'll be sending or distributing food and water for our people. We need storage tanks storage facilities in our places as now it's raining, it's all over flooded. We look at Tana River, the, almost the whole county is flooded. But once this water is drained all in the ocean, we go back to drought. Our people would lack water, drinking water. Animals lack water. So I appeal, and because water is devolved, appeal to the county government and more so the Kilifi county government to provide storage facilities for water to all schools, primary schools and secondary schools, provide them with water tanks so that they can collect this water for use, house use, animal use, let children use clean water, and um, more for irrigation. Mr. Speaker Ganze constituency is rated one of the poorest, hunger, education, everything. But as now the water is being drained, goes down to the Indian Ocean, we need uh, collection uh, facilities, water pans dug in these constituencies so that water can be collected for future use. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion. Thank you. 20th of February 2019, Mama Getrud Mbeyu fought for the needy. Katika historia ya wanawake ya bungeni, Mama Getrud Mbeyu alikuwa mstari wa mbele kwa kikisha kwamba serikali inajaribu kupunguza ada ya matibabu ili kila moja katika taifa la Kenya anaweza kupata matibabu ya liobora. Kuja na hoja hii, usema kwamba weze kufutiliwa mbali kwa ada za matibabu katika hospitali za umma zote za umma za rufa pindi tu mtu anapofariki mheshimiwa speaker na ni hoja ya muhimu sana na nimengoja wakati huu niweze kuchangia kwa sababu mimi natoka katika gatuzi lenye umaskini mwingi sana mheshimiwa speaker na hali za matibabu kulipa ada za matibabu na zile za mtu anapofariki pale mochwari ni ada kubwa kwa watu wetu na kwa watu wetu wote wa Kenya. Mheshimiwa speaker nitakwambia tu yale magonjwa ambayo gharama zake ziko juu watu wetu hawezi kumudu kulipa. Japo tumeweza kuhimiza watu wetu waweze kujiandikisha katika huduma ile ya afya ya NHIF imeweza kupunguza pali padogo tu na si watu wote wameweza kujiandikisha. Mheshimiwa speaker ugonjwa kama wa saratani ugonjwa kama wa pressure ugonjwa wa sukari ugonjwa wa uvimbe fibroids kwa kina mama ni magonjwa ambayo yameweza kutibiwa kwa pesa nyingi katika hospitali zote za kiserikali zile za umma na zile pia 
za za kibinafsi mheshimiwa speaker imefika wakati saa hizi tuweze kutetea watu wetu ili ada hizi ziweze kufutuliwa mbali mheshimiwa speaker mtu anayeugua ugonjwa wa saratani na paka kifo chake pesa zake za kulipa huwa ni nyingi sana na anapofariki uh, inahitaji watu wengi kuchangia na viongozi wengi watu napatikana katika janga hili uweze kulipa pesa za matibabu pengine amelazwa kwa muda wa miezi miwili mitatu katika hospitali ulipe ada ya mochari na tuweze kusimamia pia mazishi mheshimiwa speaker imefika wakati tuweze kutetea jamii zetu waweze kuachiliwa kutolipa ada hizi za magonjwa kama haya na mengineyo kwa sababu hali ya uchumi Kenya imekuwa juu sana watu hawawezi hata kumudu chakula cha kila siku mtu asili asubuhi asili mchana na usiku pia kupata ni shida ukimwambia alipe matibabu elfu mbili na hamsini kwa hospitali kwa sababu ni mgonjwa wa pressure wa sukari inakuwa ni hali ngumu na hii imetufika mheshimiwa speaker kuweza kumpongeza mheshimiwa Mohamed Ali kwa hoja hii na kwa sababu matibabu yamegatuliwa hospitali nyingi zetu za umma katika gatuzi zetu zimefikia kiwango kuwa hawezi kuweza kuwekeza vizuri katika huduma hizi za afya ni wakati umefika katika bunge hili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja ili kuona huduma hizi zinaweza kufaa watu wetu mheshimiwa speaker nitakupa tu mfano mmoja kuna mwalimu mmoja kutoka kule gatuzi la ganze akiitwa Mr Kahindi alifariki miezi miwili iliyopita mwili wake uko katika mochwari moja kule Mombasa na ana deni la milioni tatu. tumeweza kuchanga imeshindikana na familia haiwezi kabisa ningeomba katika hoja hii wakati huu familia ile iweze kusaidika na serikali wapate ule mwili wakaweze kuzika maana deni lile la milioni tatu na ile familia hata kujimudu chakula haiwezi itakuwa ni gharama ya kila siku hatutaweza kuzika mwili wa mwalimu yule naomba katika kupitia hoja hii serikali iweze kusikia mwalimu yule misaka hindi kutoka kule kachororoni ganze mwili ule ukaweze kupatikana familia ikaweze kupumzika huzuni ya miezi miwili na paka sasa hawaweza hawajaweza kuzika mwili ule mheshimiwa speaker ni mengi lakini kama hizi ada za hospitali zitaweza kuondolewa ada za mochari ziondolewe nafikiri sisi na wananchi wetu tunaweza kufanya mambo mengine ya maendeleo na pesa nyingi hizi zinazotumika katika kuzingatia mambo ya mazishi ya wale kaka zetu na ndugu zetu mama zetu wanaofariki na kuhifadhiwa kwa muda mrefu kwa sababu za ada za hospitali on 24th of october 2018 mama getu mbeyu fought for the expansion of public schools land thank you mr speaker arise to support this motion on the establishment of policy guidelines on land for expansion on public schools and a fund for acquisition of the same mr speaker it's very important that the motion comes at this time. Mr. Speaker, our public schools are overpopulated. In this public school, Mr. Speaker, we have the ECD section, we have the primary, and more so the secondary schools, Mr. Speaker. And as much as we urge the government to put up a fund to acquire land, most of the land, Mr. Speaker, is already populated. People have grabbed land towards the schools. And as much as we want to acquire land, it may not be there. I urge the police makers, this house, that we establish a policy that our schools make use of the airspace of these schools, make use even the underground. We can do storage uh, infrastructure, boarding facilities, the classes, so that we leave the little land for these schools for playground. Mr. Speaker, as a teacher, 
the most children, the ECD children need a lot of land to play, to develop them physically. The primary school children need this land as play group. So it's my wish that we use the air space to do storied buildings for our schools, and more so the underground also can be used to do infrastructure for the classes and boarding facilities and leave the little land for the playground for our schools. On 15th of August 2018, Mama Getrude Mayu fought for setting aside funds for the coconut farmers in Kilifi. Nachukua fursa hii kumonga mkono mbunge wangu mwishimi wa Owen wa Kilifi North kwa kuleta madai ndani ya nyumba mwishimi wa speaker mkorosho na korosho zake umekua ni mmea wa muhimu sana katika jimbo la pwani na hasa katika jimbo la kilifi na tuko hapa kuunga mkono kuregeshwa upya kuanzishwa tena kampuni ya mkorosho pale kilifi kwa wakati huu tunaomba serikali iweze kutia manani kuwa korosho au mmea wa mkorosho ni kati ya mimea ile muhimu sana katika biashara zote kulinganishwa na kahawa na chai ya kule nyanda za juu. Mheshimiwa speaker kampuni ya mkorosho ilikuwa imeweza kupeana kazi miaka ya tisaini kwa wamama. Nazungumza wamama tu zaidi ya mia sita ndani ya kampuni ile. Na kiwanda hichi kilipofilisika familia nyingi mheshimiwa speaker ziliweza kusambaratika. Wengi wetu katika jimbo la Kilifi tumeweza kusoma kwa sababu ya pesa ya korosho. Wamama walikuwa ni wamama wa kujitegemea ndani ya jimbo la Kilifi. Hawakungoja baba aje nyumbani ndio waweze kuwa na chakula juu ya meza. Hawakungoja watoto watoke kazini ndio wawe na chakula juu ya meza. Kufilisika mkorosho huu umeleta shida ya makazi ndani ya jimbo la Kilifi na pwani nzima. Mheshimiwa speaker kati ya idleness kuwa na vijana ambao wanazurura ovyo ni kukosa hata mtambo mmoja ndani ya jimbo la Kilifi. Lakini kuregeshwa kwa mtambo huu kutaleta makazi kwa vijana kina mama na kina baba ndani ya jimbo la Kilifi na kwa sababu wakati huu tumeenda kuanza upya kupanda mikorosho ni ombi langu kwa wakaaji wa kilifi kuweza kupeana mashamba yao makubwa ambayo yamekaa bila kutumika tuweze kupanda kwa wingi mkorosho huu ulianzishwa upya upandaji pale kilifi mwezi uliopita na tuko na marafiki ambao wako tayari kutunga mkono kupanda mkorosho tuweze kuona vipi serikali itaweza kuweka pesa zaidi ya upandaji ya mmea wa mkorosho ndani ya Kilifi County ili tuone vipi tukiwa na bidhaa ya korosho mtambo huu utaweza kuregeshwa tena pale Kibarani Ward ambapo mimi nilikuwa MCA 2013 Kilifi North au hata kule Ganze ili tuone vipi mtambo huu na bidhaa zake zinaweza kufufua maisha ya kibiashara kwa wakazi wa Kilifi. On 1st of August 2018, she fought for the construction of a stadium in Kilifi County. Establishing National Rugby Stadium, not a union. I want to concur with uh, Honorable who said it should not be a union and it should be established in all 47 counties and not regions, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support as a, a member of Kilifi County, Mr. Speaker. In Kilifi, we don't have even a, a football stadium. Mr. Speaker, we've had a budget in the Kilifi County Assembly when I was still an MCA of having a stadium for football, and it's not seen the light of the day to date. So having this as a national program to have a rugby stadium in all counties and not all regions, it's a good idea for our youth. Uh, many youth are stranded. They don't have sporting clubs. They don't have stadiums. They can't uh, grow their talents. And having this stadium in every county, Mr. Speaker, would be a very good idea for our youth, ladies, and 
male so that they grow and nurture their talents, both the youth in school and out of school. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion. There is a lot of story to be told about Mama Gertrude Mayo. They say the best person is the one who fights your battles in your absence. That is the best friend you can ever have in life. Let's join hands. Let's support the mother. Till we meet again, I was your host for today, Mavali Derek. Remember to like, to comment, and to subscribe. For any other information, leave it in the comment section. Stay tuned for the part two of the unantold story of Mama Gertrude Bay.